Hi, this is the advisor with Stacey Chalemi, the founder of the Complete Herbal Guide. And today I'd like to start by mentioning our sponsors, Resync, who uh, have had sponsored the show. And I just want to tell you about two of their products, uh, the Resync Recovery. Uh, this is a great product. And I happen to not only um, just talk about it on my show, but I actually use these products and I have seen a huge improvement in my own health. Now, uh, Resync uh, Recovery supports the blood flow and circulation. It has a number one nitric oxide booster taken by professional athletes. So a lot of athletes use this product and people use it also to improve their health. It addresses inflammation and positively impacts inflammation markers, and it helps you recover with energy. So if you're lacking energy, this is a great product also to consider. We also have Resync collagen peptides. Now, recent collagen peptides also support circulation and it strengthens every layer of the body. It contains ingredients such as vitamin C, mineral copper to help build your collagen. And it also reduces muscle soreness and it helps to support joint mobility and comfort. And all this goes together because when you have problems with your joint mobility, a lot of times inflammation impacts it also. So these two products together are a great, um, a great uh, blend of cocktails to consider if you are going through any type of health problem, or if you just want to improve your overall health and stay healthy. Now, I'm not going to go any more about this right now. I have a special guest that's waiting for us, and I'm so excited to introduce him today. His name is Robert Wilson. Now, he does hypnotherapy. Hypnotherapy is also referred to as guided hypnosis, and it's a form of psych uh, psychotherapy and that uses relaxation, extreme concentration, intent tense attention and achieves a heightened state of consciousness or mindfulness. In other words, it places an individual into an altered state of awareness. Now, he also practices um, a different type of uh, hypnotherapy that he's going to talk about. Um, so I'm going to give the stage to you, Robert, and you tell everybody what you do and tell them a little about yourself as well. Well, thank you, Stacy, for having me on. And I use the word hypnoacuity instead of therapy. That way it takes the thinking memory mind and people don't have all the reservations about it. And a lot of people have reservations about hypnosis, but hypnosis, you can actually hear, you're more alert and more, more uh, attuned to what's going on than you are when you're normal because hypno it opens up the inner communication and allows you to expand out of where you are or else expand of what you desire to experience and that's the biggest thing for me and it does it in a calm state but it, it'll the hypnosis will allow you to go in and discover things that are hiding inside you that will liberate you from you and that's a key thing that's what hypnotherapy does is liberate you from you and it's not gonna it doesn't do anything and once you go under hypnosis and you've been under a hypnosis, you enjoy it. Right. And now, I, I'm a junkie. I can go under hypnosis in 30 seconds. <laughs> really? I, yeah, I mean, once have you do it and you get into the, you get into the, well, I call it now quality, which is present moment peace. You're just relaxed and you're will, you're open to letting go and open to expanding of the new. And you can imprint the scenarios of your dreams and your desired lifestyle. Now, sometimes people like have a hard time getting into that relaxed mode. Now, when someone comes to you and there's a lot of issues going on in their life or they have specific issues that they want to accomplish, but how do you get them into that relaxed state? Because some people don't have the ability to get into that relaxed state so quickly. So is there any type of therapy that you do during these sessions that help people fall into that state of mind? Yes. It's called the lemon test. You have them go into the kitchen. You, you start out like going to the store, they get the lemon, they come in, they, and they open it and you ask them, do you ever, have you ever tasted a lemon? And then as they cut into it, the juices come up and they put it in their mouth and taste it. And then you tell them that's a suggestion and, and allow them to relax and see mm -hmm. with the script, you take them into a tranquil place. Okay. And, and you got an induction that does it. 
And really, you're not apprehensive about the hypnosis. You're apprehensive about, apprehensive about what you're going to discover in yourself. Go ahead. And, and see, people have a, they want to come in and they want to get rid of it, right? Mm -hmm. But they, they know it's in there and they're more afraid of letting go because of the pain that was, the pain that was uh, ingrained it they feel they're going to have to go through it again. But this is a, it's a liberating from the pain. Oh, I see. So you're separating yourself from the pain. Yeah. You're giving the pain to the, to the oblivion yes. and, you're, mm -hmm. and, and see something that the world people open up to is the world, the outside world is actually guiltless, faultless, blameless, shameless, and featureless. It's our inner, it's our thinking, knowing, memory, mind, opinions, viewpoints, and our life events that we embedded is how we look at the world. The outside world is totally innocent. It's me that made it guilty. I see. And, and see, that's a thing you can open up to. But under hypnosis, you're willing to let go. And when you're relaxed and you can talk about it and let it go, and you can actually expand out of it. And you can open up to having a featureless mind, which is a is a, just a featureless mind. And then you can imprint the scenarios of your desired life. And scenarios over possibilities, because I can color, paint, do whatever I want. But there's something you can do with a scenario. You can put the smell of it, your favorite fragrance. Because smell is a direct link to the brain. Yes. Vision vision is seven la layers deep. Hearing is four. But the oh, smell. Wow. But the smell, you can say the sea breezes of success. And you can get to remember that they can recall the sea breeze. I see. And they can feel that. And see, another thing hypnosis allows you to do is discharge the memories of the emotions feelings and the body because see that's where a lot of people they think they do it all in the mind the mind follows the body and the emotions until yes. they're liberated and Very i use true. the word liberated over heal because you can't think it when you're liberated there's no thinking involved right right that's very and that's something i discovered see is what thinking memory mind is Quiet as we've lived the continuous now subconsciously, right? There, it doesn't have no. It's right. got more clueless. It's clueless. Uh, it's more clueless about my uh, my life than me. It just thinks it's here, and everything you think you you didn't like in your life, or you thought it was uncomfortable, your, your subconscious mind thinks that's your comfort zone. Oh wow! Yeah, Very see, interesting. It it can't direct it, and see, that's why. It, with the word liberation and expand, I can calm the thinking mind and I can actually open up to the instilling or ingraining or embedding the dreams and the and the visions of your life. And see, that's why repetition works. Like if you wake up first thing in the morning, mm -hmm. I, I just say I'm astonishing, dynamic, and accomplished. Right. And that's the first word. Because when you put your head down at night, mm -hmm. the thinking stops and the dreams and the imagination begin. It's when you wake up in the morning is when you go back into the complaining. And I was the best at complaining in the morning. But <laughs> you never want to wake up complaining. You always want to wake up asking, why is this day going to occur for me to expand of my wisdom, insight, understanding, and talent? Right. And that's what and that's what hypnosis and that stuff does. So there the the three things that we mentioned, we mentioned um, you know, they're all interrelated, related to each other, correct? Yes. Okay. Very much so. And see, that's the thing. And we've when you can understand you've lived a continuous now. And also, whatever was going on with your parents from the womb to five years old, yes, that that's in, that's ingrained in you. Oh, your subconscious. And see, that's something that I had to do. As I went back and and visited how my parents got along from the womb or in the womb to five years old, yes, 
And man, did I see a mirror. <laughs> and it doesn't matter what's going on. It's admitted it's in there. And once you admit it and understand, once you admit it, you can appreciate it. And once you appreciate it, you get the value, you can expand out of it. And it's for me, expand over change because expand has zero memories. Right. As chain has pain, change has pain, expand is grand to understand where I'm going. So if if people are, let's say people from the time you're in the womb to five years old have had a traumatic experience or a dysfunctional family. And they've actually gotten developed a lot of issues when they grew up because those things are embedded in your head and they do play a role when you grow up, you know. Um, so if someone wants to release that pain and they actually want to change and they don't want to be like that and they want to let go of those the, the, that pain that's holding them back in life, is that something that hypnosis or uh, hypnotherapy, you know, can help with? That's what it's for. Okay. That's absolutely. And see, it can also, you know, like people have migraines. Yes. That may become from a previous life. Mm. They got hit in the head or something. But yeah, that's what hypnotherapy is for because your subconscious mind has never forgotten anything that happened. Right. And, and see, with hypnosis, that gatekeeper, you know, that keeps you safe is yeah. relaxed and you can go in there. And you can do it in several ways, but you can also let people open up and they can speak about it and release it underneath hypnosis. Now, a lot of people don't realize the power of hypnosis and they don't, they think, you know, that hypnosis, you know, is, is kind of like, uh, you know, it, 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 it's, it's not really something that could actually work. Explain to them why it's so powerful and why it has so much impact and powerful abilities that it could actually, you know, transition your life. Hypnosis is not sleep. And hypnosis, you're actually aware of what's going on around you. What hypnosis does, it's a communication. It allows you to think as your, your subconscious mind is a file cabinet. Mm -hmm. or a library right hypnosis allow you to go find either the file or the book that's had because see that's something we use as a library you walk down and pull out a book on one side is the experiences and the other side is what you desire mm -hmm. well you walk down the aisle until you find the book that jumps out and, and that really resonates with you pull it out and you open it up and start looking at it and seeing how that is your life and then as you're going through it, you can let go of it. You can right. be liberated from it. And that's the thing about it. And, and you're doing it. And it's never say it's easy, but it's it's liberating. To me, once you go through the first breakthrough, mm -hmm. it, you become addicted to letting it go. Right. I mean, it's just liberation and how you feel that you can let it go. And it's, see, another thing is, as everything we've been taught in school, Stacy, is what somebody else wants us to know. And we've always been taught on how other people want us to act. Right. And see, this is about rising to your imagination, innovation, above the threshold of the school system and everything you've ever done in your life and open yes. up to your imagination. Because, you know, they're like in a movie, there's 50 people in there, but 50 people have a different experience. That's like life. You yes. have your own unique experiences to open you up. And that's to your dreams. And that's what hypnosis does. It makes you discover your unique self. Now with, with hypnosis, is hypnosis for everyone or only works for a certain audience? You know, the, it's for anybody that's willing to do it. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, there's people that will not work for and there's people that will. That's up to the individual. Mm -hmm. It depends on if you want to keep a hold of it and live the same life every day, or right. you want to expand out of it and enjoy uh, a liberated life. That's up to the person. And see, that's the thing about hypnosis and everything. There's no one size fits all. It's unique to the person, just like everybody's talents are unique to them. Right. And every experience is, is unique to them. And that's about understanding you're unique and don't try to follow and fit into everything else 
And something else I did, Stacy, is I unpunctuated my writings and my mm -hmm. personal growth is, and uh, sovereign expansion. Because when you're punctuating something, you're thinking about what you want the other person to know. Right. And when it's unpunctuated, they got to discover themselves. And I'm not thinking about what I'm writing. I'm just writing it. Right. And in my books, I write three lines and then a space and then three lines, a space and a capital letter. And what that does, it, I'm not putting my opinions, thoughts, or viewpoints into it. And it's wrote in kind of hypnotic, hypnotic NLP style. Mm -hmm. And there's no not words in there. And there's nothing about the path. It's all about expand, energize, enterprise, experience, trend setting, troublemaker. It's wrote to, to never let you go back. And if I do say anything about the past, it's always discharge, disconnect. So, because... You expand out of the past right in front of you. Right. Your present moment experiences are showing you your past. Wow. That's very deep. Uh, and see, the th but it's just opening up because if you're a memory, it's a memory of the now. Yeah. And, and it's not happening back there because the subconscious thinks it's here. Right. And 95% of what we do is subconscious. Yes. And see, so 5%. And here's the thing, everything that you ever encountered in your childhood, everything, subconscious mind's a better recorder than any computer. Right. <laughs> it remembers, it's got everything in there. It's about being willing to understand. If you can go in and liberate you from you, your opinions, viewpoints, thinking, knowing memories, you can expand of your dreams. So hypnosis is a great way to get to a point where you can actually go into your subconscious and take that file count that you were talking about and actually go in and release those negative impacts in your life that you no longer want tied to your own self. Yeah. And you can also put in the images of your dreams. Oh, really? The desired life. Yeah. You can do imagery. Tell us a little more about that. You can go in, you know, they, the client has to, the person that's going under, they can, show you the scenarios, their favorite place, the images. And you just say, imagine or pretend you're here. And then you can put the images and the verbiage, their verbiage, they'll give you it. And you, you can imprint that into them and you can open them up to see in their dreams. And something else, if you only speak about where you're going in life and your dreams and your desired life, and you stop thinking about back here, mm -hmm. you expand out of the past here because Something else I've done is I took think, know, learn, and hear out of my life. Think is inspiration. Know is understand. Learn is comprehend. Right. That makes it individual. And you listen instead of hear. Because you can't listen and hear at the same time. They wow. Listening is going straight in. Hearing, you're trying to, you're hearing, but you're thinking about your response while you're doing it. Right. right. I'm a professional at that. <laughs> and, and you know that that's the key word right there admit what is inside you right admit it, get rid of it that's a great great uh tagline i like that yeah and see we all want to think we're invincible and we've never had nothing and everything is perfect well that perfection programming caused me a lot of trouble <laughs> and, and my favorite thing is stacy stubborn and hard-headed have two meanings Right to me, I was too stubborn to listen and too and too too hard headed in my knowing to expand. And once you get done and letting them go, you get you gotta be too stubborn to uh, too stubborn to quit and too hard headed to know when you're beat to succeed. Right, well, a whole and new that, world happens, I think, when you let those two things go. Yes, and it, and if you listen for the clarity rather than think you. I had to expand out of my know-it-all ignorance. I used to not be able to admit this, but I had know-it-all ignorance, egotistical arrogance. Once I admitted that and I started listening for the clarity yes. of my day and I and I hearkened to wisdom and the inspiration inside of my day, I expanded. Right. I listened my way to the penthouse. I'll talk my way to the outhouse. <laughs> and I made the Grand Canyon by talking my way to the outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> There, that's the key to life, being able to laugh at yourself. Right. Yes, yeah. definitely. 
Now you mentioned that you wrote three books. Tell me a little about that. Well, the, I've got one out called My Wisdom Breeze. And I write, I, I wrote, I've wrote actually 13 books, but it said, you know, everybody writes journals, right? Yes. Well, I just wrote books mm -hmm. instead of the journal because whatever I'm hiding from the world, if I put it into the world, I expand other people. Yes. And then I, in 2000, 11, I started not punctuating my, my, you know, business, you got to punctuate, you know, where you're dealing with, but in personal growth, or I call it sovereign expansion. Right. There's, I don't want, I want to be uninhibited, uninhibited and unlimited. Right. And so when I started doing that, I stopped, my mind wasn't involved because punctuation is actually mind control. Mm-hmm. Because yes. as soon as you read punctuation, you're trying to figure out what this is. When it's unpunctuated, you got to discover yourself. Right. And that's the thing. We're all trying to be somebody else uh, rather than our honorable self. Right. That's so true. That's so true. People look up to the media so much and they try to be like their mentors or who they think their mentors are. But, yeah. and you know, and even people will get cosmetic work to look like certain people. But yeah. the, when it comes down to it inside ourselves, we are a specific person that a person is not really going to go away. Those characteristics, those unless, you know, unless we we personally change them, but we are who we are, you know, and that will never change. And, yeah. you know, spiritually, you know, and our heart, you know, those two things tied together make us an individual in ourselves. Yeah. So no matter what we do, no matter how we try to copy somebody else, we will always be somebody different inside spiritually. Yeah. The spirit. See that, that I'm glad you brought that up. You know what the spirit does to you, don't you? Mm -hmm. The spirit strolls you right into the adversity, the controversy, the chaos, the fissure, all your thinking, knowing, memory, mind. Yes. It's a mischievous little thing, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it does. It does. See, it takes you to the uh, to all the controversy because life is a trial and dare. Mm -hmm. The spirit's going to show you the chaos. It's daring you to expand out of it. Right. And it'll never leave you in a bind, but it's you're going to make you. It, it's going to make you experience the wisdom in the situation, and that's kind of the key to life. Yeah. Why is this occurring for me? And where's the wisdom in this situation? Not I, the knowledge, but the wisdom, because wisdom is, is wisdom. Knowledge is the books. Wisdom is the experience. Yes. And yes. I truly believe that we, we all go through things in life and, and there is a purpose for why we're going through those things in life. Definitely. It's a, it's a, it's a sovereign expansion because it's unique to you. You know, mm -hmm. it's like every experience you put 20 people in there, but that this, there's something in there that's just unique to you to expand you. And that's the thing. Understand your unique, open them unique talents and expand of your dreams. Yes, definitely. And, now, and that's something I'm really opening up to. Mm -hmm. And one other thing I'm going to share with the world, your dreams are going to show you your encumbrances and they're going to show you the pathway out. Right. Dreams are a lot. I'm just going, I've been to, to this. I'm going to dream school right now in hypnotherapy because it, I did it last year, but I'm doing it for a CEU and the dreams really show you a lot of things. Yes, they do. Dreams are very powerful. They send messages to us. They give us a true direction and understanding of ourselves and where we need to be. Yes, you're absolutely right on there. And the only thing is, is like when I grew up in the, 60s dreams are foolish well that's the thing we always thought dreams are foolish but they're actually a dare mm -hmm. dare to re to dare to rebelliously expand right and expand magically yes yeah and, and it's, but people get so caught up in having to be right and wrong but life is just a path you stroll mm -hmm. on a path there's going to be hailstorms tornadoes and sunny days right and it's like anything a storm clear a storm clears out the debris right now when a patient comes into your office and they want to start 
hypnotherapy or they want to start hypnosis, how, what are the steps? What do you do with a patient to get them to ready? Um, if you can explain it a little more for people who are interested, but don't know a lot about it. Well, that's the thing. We'll sit down and we'll have what they call an intake session. Mm -hmm. We're going to discuss about where they want to go in life. And we're going to discuss how hypnosis will help them, but we're going to discover what they desire in the situation. It's about what they want to expand out of, and then we'll go from there. Hypnosis ain't about what I think you should do or whatever. Hypnosis and anything in personal growth is exactly about what you feel you want to go through and see if you want to expand out of it and if you're willing to let go. Right. That's the thing is being willing to discharge it, let release it, and let it go. That's and sometimes. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Finish what you. And you was going to say the same thing I was. That sometimes they think the pain is too much. So it's either you get rid of the pain or you stay in the pain. It's up yes. to you. I was exactly what I was going to say because, and people have to realize no matter what type of therapy or what type of alternative um, therapy you decide to do, things will always, in order to heal, you have to go through a painful period in order to go through the healing process to feel better. So it's always going to, it's not, it's never, you know, you, you do these alternative therapies like hypnosis and then boom, you're better. You're going to go through a painful period. And that painful period may bring a lot of tears, a lot of inner, inner pain, but then it's a release. And then the healing begins and then the happiness sets in. You know what tears are, don't you? What they is water tears? your garden of liberation. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And see, the tears are just a release. Yes, and it's just letting, the, letting it go. Yeah. And, you know, once the tears come heavy, you just start feeling the liberation and letting go and you start feeling better. And see, you let go of the fear of life when you let it, let the pain go. Yeah. And see, fear isn't fear. Fear is actually showing you a, a block and a liberation. Right. And, but we've been taught to think fear was bad. Well, fear is actually an enlightenment when you understand that you come in, embedded the fear and you can dissolve it out of your life. Exactly. If you really open up to it. And, and you know, that's something else that I do. I start them on a on a saying, I'm open to I'm open to letting everything go. That's a very you good know. way of starting it, because that's a good way to a mindset to you know to get them on, on the right mindset so they actually could have a positive experience during this, you know, process of sessions. And you know, everybody's had epiphanies and great in their life. And that's something you want them to actually put an anchor on. You Like here, you want them to get them to feeling that. Mm -hmm. And that way, when it's over, they can have that feeling all the time. Now, when a person does um, hypnotherapy or they do hypnosis, do, do you have to be in the office or can you actually have the instructor like on Zoom speaking to you and you could be doing the process in your own home in a comfortable and relaxing area? You can do it over Zoom. You can, you do, can it. do it in the desert. You can do it out in the country. You can do it anywhere they're willing or open, wherever they want to do it. Because they make a lot of because they make a lot of CDs, they make a lot of, you know, uh, music that incorporates and heightens your ability to go into hypnosis, and you see it all over the place. So I would assume that you don't have to be in an office. No, and self-hypnosis, you just, it's basically a meditation of release, of, okay. of discharge. And you, you can do it through self-hypnosis, you can do it through this, and I'm going to give people one that's almost too simple, but pen and paper, go out someplace, sit down and start writing what you're feeling and just sit there and you sit there and just start writing and don't write everything that comes to mind. Don't try to do that. And you'll be surprised what happens in 30, 40, 50 or an hour, what all comes out. But the thing about doing it with pen and paper, never do it in your house. Mm. 
I do like it that. out in the park, do it by running water, do it by something. And then when you get it out and, and it will come out, take that piece of paper and just start shredding it and walk by a garbage can, throw it in and just keep walking. I've done that. And it's, it's very, it's a, a very, uh, it's, it, I can't even express like, in the right words, how it's like a release. And, and, and once you get to that point and you rip it up, it's like, it's become a past and it's become, you've already healed at that point. And yes. it's no longer a part of you holding you back. And the thing about the release, the first thing you want to do is have that first breakout or breakthrough or release, whatever. Once you have that and you feel that freedom, you will forever want to keep going. Then it becomes almost like a liberating addiction. Mm -hmm. you, you never get a most. See, for me, I made a deal with myself in 2000. Whatever's hiding inside me is leaving. What's right. holding me back is leaving. I don't care what it is. And you just become... You got to be willing to make a deal with yourself to liberate yourself. Right. You know, it, it's a, it's a actually a, a deal. And the first, and another thing you want to give yourself is permission. Yes. Permission to let it go. Mm -hmm. And also permission to do better than your parents. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. A lot of people, didn't, I had to go through that. You know, you say, oh, my parents did this. I'm going to make it. No, give yourself permission. Yes. To do better than your parents or anybody, give yourself permission to be liberated, wealthy, healthy, and have fun. I see that with so many people because they were brought up a certain way. They, even as adults, and even even sometimes when the parents have even passed, they don't want to change because they don't want to disappoint their parents. The fear of of disappointing their parents, you know, plays a big role in their lives and even if they don't get along or they didn't have the greatest relationship with their parents in the back of their head they still don't want to disappoint them and they still want to in their head feel like their parents are going to love them because they're doing the right thing that their parents want but necessarily it might not be the right thing for themselves that's a true statement if everybody's going to take anything away from this take them what you just said that is true and another thing is to add to that, stop blaming your parents for everything because what you don't like about your parents is inside you. What yeah. you don't like about the world is inside you mm -hmm. or inside me. And man, that that I went through that about two months ago when I had to admit the outside world's never done anything to me. Mm -hmm. I did it to myself. Right. And but after after admitting that, I'm starting to understand. The outside world is also my tour guide. Mm -hmm. It's going to take me to the events that expand me. Right. And and that's something, you know, if you take the word change out of your life and put the word expand, mm -hmm. it takes the thinking out of, of moving forward. Yes. You get the feel of moving forward. And that's, and that's one thing. The words we use really... You can't use the same words that got you into the situation to go out of the situation. Right. It's all got to be a fresh, a fresh verbiage to move forward. Yes, I agree. And, and the thing I like about hypnosis is, is people discover themselves. Yes. And that's a big thing for me. And it's very important because people sometimes go through life and, and through decades, they don't know who they are, what their purpose is, and they are lost in, in a world trying to figure out who they are and, and why are they here and what their purpose is. And, and they get they kind of get lost in their own bubble, their own world, because they just don't know what direction to lead. And that's and true. And then they go outside themselves and start going to all the seminars in the world. And then they try to do everything that's said in the seminar. And then when they come home, that doesn't do anything for them. And three days later, when you when you listen, listen for what expands you. Yes. But you got to discover your own path. Mm -hmm. You got to unlock your own path. And, it, and you really want to be able to write your desired lifestyle. Yeah. You want to be the fashion designer. Yes. And, and that's the thing. And something that I, I discovered, you know, 
we're right here today. Mm -hmm. You want to be here tomorrow. Right. This is where you got to expand. And nothing from here is going to take you to here. Right. This is all fresh and fresh and now. Mm -hmm. And 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 your everyday life is going to be the tour guide with the wisdom to expand you to there. Right. It's right. through the people you meet. And something else that I had trouble with most of my life is when people told me something, I thought they was criticizing me. And a lot of them were giving me good forward looking wisdom to move forward and I didn't take it because I thought I had to know everything right if you have to know everything you're going to stay the same exactly and, and and people don't always say it the way you want to hear it mm -hmm. but it's wisdom yes I agree you have to be open-minded because you're not going to grow unless you're open-minded and you need to listen to the people who actually maybe are a little, a couple of steps ahead of you in that area of expertise because, and they can give you positive and meaningful advice or, you know, constructive criticism that you could actually apply to your life and expand. And also they're going to ask you a question you can't answer and don't yes. try answering it. Yes. It, it, it's about, it's really about a search mm -hmm. inside you. And that's the thing we've always been taught to, when I first started, I thought I had to change, do something with the outside world. I don't have to do nothing with the outside world. I got to expand it in here. Yes. And I expand it through listening and, and listening for the clarity for myself. And that's the thing. The world is an individual. It's an individual journey, voyage, whatever word you want to use. But it's individual to open you up to the world. And something else, all the negativity in the world today Mm -hmm. is asking for our wisdom to expand out of it yes and see and something else we've taught the misery of history mm -hmm. we have never taught or showed the wisdom of history right we've always Very lived true. in the misery of history instead of the wisdom of history for and some that, reason a lot of people put all their energy towards negative aspects and they don't focus on the positive aspect and that's when they don't expand but people have tendencies to to gear towards the negative they don't let go of the negative and they're drawn to the negative that's because for me it was in my was in my family at home yes i was just thinking that and a lot of times it resonates right back like we said from the womb to five years old and growing up in a certain type of environment, you know, there's a lot of resentment, anger, fear, all these negative emotions that have not yet been fixed within you. And you start to, you develop your own behaviors that aren't really good behaviors. And you're trying to find people just like that. So you're gearing towards a community of negativity. Yeah, habit sabotage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's all mine. <laughs> that's something, you know, like trauma, drama, and all that stuff. That's mm -hmm. just habit sabotage. We've yeah. used it for a comfort zone. Mm -hmm. I agree. Our familiar zone, or to me, it's to stay the same zone. And, you know, it's like people listen to the news. Well, you can listen to the news today, February, I mean, November 18th, 2022. Yes. You can listen to it again on February or November 18th, 2023. It'll be the same. You don't have to listen to it for a year. Right. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. The media keeps repeating it and people believe it. And, you know, I get a kick out of talk radio. Mm -hmm. It's funny to me because everybody says, oh, yeah, that's right. And all it is is they're talking, but there's nothing in the game. Mm hmm. And people listen, and I told a friend of mine, I says, you know, people will listen to talkers, but if you get somebody that stands up and shows them, they're not going to go with that guy because that's a little bit spooky. Yeah. Because it's unknown and it's it's uncharted and everything. But we love listening to the know-it-all talkers, but we don't like listening to the winning walkers. Yeah, that's very true. And very it's, true. It's like you got the Fed over here you got Warren Buffett over here. Who are you going to listen to? Yeah. Me, I'm listening to Buffett <laughs> because he's tried and true. I feel like we have to start listening to our inner self more because our inner self is the one that has the answers. It's trying to direct us. It's trying to guide us. 
but a lot of people don't know how to really connect with their inner self and our inner self knows what we need. Yeah, because that inner self, what he's telling you, it's going to scare you. Yeah. But you know, see, what am I scared of? That's the question. Why am I scared? What am I scared? Then why is this occurring for me? Yesterday yes, happens, yeah. now occurs. Right. That's opening conscious clarity, unleashing rebellious, spontaneous savvy to expand. Right. And see, you, you, that's that's very true. If you sit back and allow yourself to expand, the inner self will tell you wherever you, well, he ain't going to tell you what you want to hear, but it's going to express to you the emancipating ways. And then once, like you said, you go through the hypnosis and you release those negative things and those painful aspects and you get re and you get released from all that a new way of thinking you grow you expand and you're in a whole new realm and it's given you a whole new life a destiny a pathway that you could start taking to even expand more and that's when you heighten yourself and you get to those new levels and you actually reach the levels that you've always dreamed of those dreams and desires could actually become your reality if you start letting go of the pain and the negativity and you release it and then listen to yourself and then get to that next level and next level and next level. So hypnosis is a great thing, I think, because. It, I agree. And, you know, when you said the next level and when you rise up and get out of the I, I did a deal, you want to unmanipulate yourself. Yes. You, you manipulate yourself into this. And sometimes all that stuff that's hidden in there was self-manipulation going in. Yes, definitely. A hundred percent. And I did a webinar called I Am the Unmanipulator of My Life. <laughs> I like that. I like that. And, and that's what we manipulate ourselves into turmoil. Yes. Many times people do that all the time to themselves. Definitely. And what and advice I, would you have for those people? If you can give people tips, if people are going through different issues in their life, what type of tips would you help give them to help them start, you know, how to begin and things they could do to start getting themselves on the right track and to those different levels that we just talked about? You know, the thing is, if it's reoccurring, it's a habit. Mm -hmm. And why am I, why is my habit sabotage cult controlling my life? Mm -hmm. And see how, why are my habits there? And if, and the thing is, is you want to draw a line in a paper. This is what's holding me back. And this is what I desire. And one for one all the way down mm -hmm. and see what it is. But, but before you can expand out of the letting go of all that, you got to understand what you desire in your life. Mm -hmm. You got to start with the desire and you want to start with like the first thing is, is wake up in the morning and say, I'm, I'm, I'm amazing. I'm, I'm enough or I'm dynamic. Just get something you start the morning with rather than getting up and complaining and really watch the people you hang out with. You can't go to work and get into the same complaining group and think you're moving forward. Right. You won't move and, forward. No, you won't. And see, it's really, it's about like walking out of prison. Mm -hmm. You want to shut the door on everything you did yesterday and open the door today because, and it really has a lot to do with thinking and knowing because we think and know our way all the way to yesterday. Yeah. Today is imagination, inspiration, innovation, and listening and talent, your unique talent. But present moments all about imagination you know we thought we did the computers and all the computer age that was all imagination and innovation mm -hmm. there was very little thinking and see that's where we've never been taught is to trust our imagination and our innovation yeah we always wanted to think and know and we can be easily controlled with think and know that's very true that's very see, true it's about letting go of your own inner control yes and so I got a something I use. It's an F O F T attitude. Mm -hmm. it's F off, F that mm -hmm. attitude. Because then I never have to set a boundary. Because right. every boundary you set is a new fear. Once the brain, the emotions, and the feelings all take a snapshot, yeah. that's a memory. Mm -hmm. 
And if you handle the unsavory right here, it never goes, it never becomes a fear or a memory. Excellent. And, right. I, and you also was talking about the parent, the way your parents handled adversity mm -hmm. is the way you handle adversity. Yes. Unless you realize it's negative, you know, somehow you see that it's not the right behavior and you do something about it to change yourself. But most likely mo the percentage of people copy their parents' adverse behavior. I know I did. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't, and it isn't so much you did it. It's admitting you did it. Yeah. And if you admit it, you get rid of it and then appreciate it. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is you want to appreciate your life right where you're at you want to appreciate it because it makes it like a house it gives you value right once you appreciate yourself and another thing anybody that did you know you had an unsavory experience appreciate that experience because there's wisdom and there's stuff to show you in there once you appreciate it you rise above it and everybody else is gone without you doing any thinking Right. They're, they're, they're forgiven and they don't even know it and you're free. Very true. Very and true. That, and that's the thing. Appreciate Appreciation is just like a house. The more you appreciate yourself, the higher value you are to you. I'm very big on appreciation, gratitude, and positivity. Those are my three three big components of, of living a very good life and, and being a good person. You know, that's the thing. Gratitude and appreciation you can walk through you can go through hell with a bucket of ice water and the devil will run away so he sees you yeah <laughs> i like that <sighs> and yes there's going to be unsavory and unsettling moments but they're there to expand you yes they're not there and see that's the thing and i never realized this every life event i've had mm -hmm. was to expand me but i contracted through my old way of a living but now i want to find the wisdom yes i want the wisdom yes and once i have the wisdom and the insight i'm moving forward onto a new path i believe everything happens for a reason everything i truly it do it happens to expand me yes it does and see and it's like today all the stuff that's going on is happening to expand us, but it's asking us to put our wisdom into the world rather than thinking the world owes me something. Yes, exactly. The only 100%. thing the world owes me is nothing. Right. If I want to help at hand, there's two of them. Yep. That's 100% true. Very and right true. here. <laughs> the inner self. Yes. That is your biggest life expanding thing is your inner, inner, inner landscape. Yes, 100%. 100%. But people have never been shown to trust themselves. No, that's something you have to really work on yourself to develop. And then you are able to have the capabilities to do it. Yeah. And see, for me, you know, like me, I wasn't ever the sharpest tack in the school. And that's kind of a little bit ornery and school never enthused me. And so when the teacher used you for an example or compared you, that left a permanent scar. That's something else I had to admit to. Oh, a hundred percent. It could definitely leave a permanent scar. Yeah. You know, and there's kids that breeze through school and had no trouble. Me, I wasn't that sharp in school. Not, mm -hmm. I mean, that's okay. That's what I mean. But I also, but I had a kind of an innovative, natural, innovative wit to do things. Right. So you're okay. Whatever somebody else has that you don't, you still have something to expand. And you, it's what you're good at and what they're good at expands the world. Exactly. I always say that everybody is different from one another. There's no such thing as perfect. We all have our strengths and everybody is different. We all have different strengths. My weaknesses may be your strengths and your weaknesses may be my strengths, but it's not comparing each other. It's putting those weaknesses and strengths together to make a better environment, a better world and to, and to better each other. And you just said something there that's very, very thing. Never compare yourself to anybody. Yes. And never be in competition with them because no. the only thing you're, if you're facilitating and participating in your daily life mm -hmm. with a forthright foresight, you're moving forward. Yes. And, it, and you know, the old saying, mind your own business, 
That is the key to success. <laughs> yes, very true. Very true. It took me a long time to admit that to myself. But I <laughs> oh, a long time ago, but you know, always wondering, well, why does he have that and I don't? Biggest right. failure words in the world, right there. Why did yes. they have it and I don't? Mm -hmm. You know, why has got two meanings? Why has got a slant eyed, you know, a, a demeaning way? Mm -hmm. But when you use why. Is this occurring for me? Why is the most powerful word there is? Yes. Why cuts the lies? Yes. And that's something is. But you know, the thing is, everybody is so talented. Yes. A hundred percent. And you know, the ones that I think, I'm, this is something that I'm going to bounce. Autistic kids, they're so talented in one thing, but we try to make them fit into a society they'll never fit into. But if you can discover that one thing, they're a genius. Their IQs are above us. That's yeah. why they are autistic, because they are so smart, autistic um, adults and children, that it's hard for them to communicate with the regular society. Because they're, if you, you know, that was one thing when they did studies, autistic, autistic people have very, very, very high IQs. And that's why a lot of times it's hard for them to relate to us and it's hard for us to relate to them because they are so incredibly intelligent. And that's it. They're my teachers. Yes. And see, we're so afraid. Anything above us out of the school book, the school system, we're afraid yeah. of. Yeah. And, see, they're, and, and they're above it, but we've never allowed them to be, to show us what they're good at. We try to make them do what we think they're good at. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. No, well, society puts stigma, you know, stigmas and what what the world should be. And that's not true. It's, you know, each individual is different. What works for you is not going to work for the other person. And we can't make a whole society act a certain way. You know, everybody has their own life. We should all make our own choices. What's best for each individual. That's uh, That's wisdom for everybody to expand on. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, the thing is, is, but if you really open up to your own talents, the mm -hmm. rest of the world never matters. Right. There, and you're participating and facilitating the world. I agree with you. And and that's what we do. And see, if, for me, I took busy and productive out of my life. I, I'm facilitating and participating in, in my daily life. Mm -hmm. That's where I expand through life. Right. And we get so caught up in trying to be more than we are and we're enough just where we're at right oh that's so true so true and you know people can be you know it's like michael jordan he's a good example mm -hmm. he got cut from his high school basketball team <laughs> really yeah he had to work he went in early he had to actually expand to be as good as he was wow i didn't know that yeah, he got cut from it. You know, the only failure in the world is quit. Mm -hmm. I agree. All, all failure, you know, if you say you failed, all that's showing you is, is you got more, you got more places to look to expand your own wisdom to expand. Failure is if you quit. But if you hit a dead end, that's just showing you you got a, a new path of yeah. enlightenment to travel. I agree. You expand of it. 100%. Now you have a great website. Tell people a little bit about your website. Cause I went on your website. You have so much to offer. Tell people what they can find on your website. Well, um, they can find, uh, well, there's classes on there, but there's, there's writings on there and there's audios and there's just stuff to expand you. Right. And it's all written. The, all the keynotes on there are unpunctuated, but there's a lot of 30 second, videos on there and they're all inspiration and inspiration nullifies desperation opening aspiration and if you can really start speaking from inspiration yeah talk about where you're going and only use words and expressions that are going to lift you above your current situation right and that's what that whole website is and there's four classes on there one is uh dissolving uh Habit sabotage and discharging uh, emotion and body memories. 
Right. See, right. that's like addiction. They go for the mind. They go for, the, but it's the emotions in the body because once I take you do an addiction, let's say you take drugs, that first that body gets that dopamine in the brain. Yeah. It's searching for that every time. Right. And see, it's about getting a new best friend. And for me, when I, I stopped drinking in 97, and what mm -hmm. I really discovered is my new addiction was personal growth. Yeah. And, and so, and, and it was personal growth, now it's sovereign expansion, but it just expands. Right. But you got to get something. And once I started on this path in 97, I, I, I don't know, it's just been a free, it's been an opening for me just to enjoy life. Right. That's and that's what you're going to get when you get on that website is you're going to get to open up to enjoy life. Exactly. And, and that's what it, life is about. Yes. And, but we've never taught that, but you gotta, yeah. you gotta be sure you gotta show yourself the enjoyment. Yes, exactly. Now, what is your website's name? Where can they find you? It's at my cowboy. It's my cowboy .com. And my email is Robert at my cowboy .com. And my book is my wisdom breeze. And what this book is, is if you're having a bad day, you can open this book to any page and expand out of it because it's written in a forward way. I like that. And, and, it, that, and it's unpunctuated. I'm going to say that. But life is unpunctuated, unedited, and unrehearsed. It's, it's true. Gonna, it's going to occur now. Whatever it is, it's going to occur. But the more you try to control it, the more it's going to be out of control. 100%. Now, where can they find that book? Where can they purchase that? Mywisdombreeze.com, and it's also on Audible. Okay, awesome. And see, the thing about Audible, about listening to it, I'm going to say the audio, I, we did it just a little bit fast. Mm -hmm. That way people can never, ever go backwards. It keeps, mm -hmm. you, it keeps you busy, and you're going forward. I like that. And it that. allows you to... Uh, open up to the wisdom that's involved. I like that. And it's got trends. It's trendsetter, trailblazer. It's really about never ever thinking about what you've done. It's about right. exp It's about expanding to where you're going. Now, can they ask you questions? Is there a contact area that if they have questions about any of the things that we discussed, they can contact you? Yeah, uh, Robert at mycowboywisdom.com. And I also am going to start giving a one-hour free consultation on hypnoacuity. Excellent. And that's going to be uploaded here pretty soon. Great. You know, I will, I'll definitely, you know, put that out there for everybody. And you know what? I'd like to thank you so much for being on the show. You've provided a, a whirlwind of information. And this is a new way I think people need to start really um, thinking. A lot of the pointers that you brought out were excellent pointers and you know i also think people need to think about maybe considering hypnotherapy as a part of their life to help them get over those humps and then to make it part of their lifestyle so they can continue living a productive life i want to thank you it's been an honor and privilege i've enjoyed this conversation because it was a forward moving onward looking conversation thank <laughs> you very much Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you so much for being on the show, Robert. I really love this conversation and you did provide such great information and, and ideas that I think will be very helpful for our listeners. Well, thank you. And you're very a very good host. You're good. Uh, you're very accommodating and thank very you so relaxing. Much. Oh, thank that, you so much. That's the key to life is relax. <laughs> it is. And that's the only way to function. We can't function unless we're relaxed and focused. Yes. All right. Thank you. you have a great day. I already did. I talked with you. Life don't get better than that, does it? <laughs> <laughs> You're a sweetheart. You have a great day. <laughs> I already did. Goodbye. Thank bye you. bye. You're welcome.